I've taken my vacation over the holidays, so I had a break from work and by extension a break from coding. So actually I haven't coded anything in almost three weeks. And I wanted to see if I can still write a decent code after all that time off. So let's go with something simple. And that's gonna be Injection Size 2. It's level 13, so not extra simple, but still simple enough that I should be able to do it nicely. There are two optional challenges which we haven't completed yet, so I'm gonna go for that now. I'm not gonna look at the code I've written originally, and let's just see, fill the data gaps in each row. That's our goal. So those people are supposed to pick up these data cubes and complete these gaps in these four rows. So I've written this simple, beautiful code. Hopefully it's gonna work. I haven't tried it just yet. I might be off by one. Let's see. Simple as that, pick up the cubes, drop the remaining cubes, shuffle around a little bit more. Something is happening. Um, is this gonna work? Oh, yes! <laughs> it works. Anyway. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> well, 16 seconds. The target was 55. So I would say we're doing great. I haven't lost my touch at all. I'm still as good as coding as I was before, if not better. Anyway, that was the speed challenge. So execute the code fast. And now it's about size. So use 10 commands only. I've used 24. Honestly, I wanted to make a joke about how shit I am at coding. But look at this. Just the fact that I've done it first try is incredible. Now I'm trying to make them form a conga line and basically go like a snake along these rows and then take two steps and go the other way and just snake around like that down. However, I'm not sure how to tell them go right one time and then go left the other time. Basically depends on which side they have the wall. But then I need to keep them in that loop forever and that I'm not sure how to do. Well, I'm sure it's easy, but I need to keep this under 10 commands. I think this should perhaps work. So I've worked around it and I don't have two separate loops, but instead when going down, I'm taking two steps each time and when going up, I'm taking one step only. However, I can't do that specifically, so I do both of them at once. Let me show you. First of all, they pick up their data cubes, then they take two steps down, check for a data cube. Can they place it down? No, they can't. Check for a wall. They're not next to a wall. They're not next to a hole. Then they take a step up and now I fucked it up. 30 minutes later, I have absolutely no idea what the fuck I'm doing. So I think it might be beneficial if I went step by step. I'm gonna take this shitty code and start you know, changing it a little. So for example, these drop statements. I might just say that the drop statements say this. If to the left of you there is a data cube, meaning you are in the row of data cubes, you should try dropping. I could even say, and you are not standing on a data cube, just to save time, because technically these two parts of the if statement are still only one command. Then we are doing this sort of a zigzag motion. So reach a row, then go right, down, left, down, right, down, left. So let's try doing that. So you're going to want to step right and keep doing that, probably with the if statement as well, until you reach a wall. So if next to you there is a wall, you step down, probably twice, but one, once should be enough. Then you do zigzag it to the left, but it's still the same shitting problem. How do I tell them that this right no longer works? So basically I want this. It's two of the same bits of code, except once you're walking right and once you're walking left. And we now just need to jump between them. So if you've reached a wall on the right and step down, you are now supposed to walk left. So you jump to here, outside the loop. The same thing goes here, so if you've reached a wall on the left side, you are supposed to jump 
right here and start walking right. So now let's get rid of these dumb statements and one hour later we should be where we want to be, which is here, with way too many statements that hopefully work. Let's see at least that. They should start walking right and yeah, conga line is working. And they've dropped a the cube, nice. Now there are some spaces between them because these guys at the front want to drop their cubes but they can't because they haven't got any cubes. That's 15 commands. So we're going in the right direction, right? That was 20 or 25 originally. And now we just need to optimize this. But how do we do that? Three quarters of the code repeat. And that's not something you want to have. However, this early in the game, we can't really have any variables or something like that. What if I did something different? Oh, I might actually get it. My proposal is as follows. I've smooshed the two parts together and now I say, keep stepping right, check for a wall. If you hit a wall on the right side, you step down and then you want to go left. So you step left, check on the wall on the left side and if there isn't a wall yet, you just keep walking left. So that's this loop right here. Basically keep walking left until you reach a wall and once you do, you start walking right again and doing all the checks and stuff like that. So it's a little dumb, but that's basically what the game wants us to do. So they just shuffle left and now go right again and start checking this time for stuff. Go down, right again, don't check for anything but the wall at the end and keep shuffling like that. Now let's just see. Yep, yeah, they've dropped the cubes. And they only drop the cube when walking from left to right. Now. This person should, yeah, step left, just keep going. And now he's stepping right. He's in the right statement there. So that's gonna mean he's gonna drop the cube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This works beautifully. Please don't fuck it up at the end. Please work. Please work. Yes. How many was it? Yes, it was, what the shit? Well, I mean, this is somewhat annoying. I would even say this is an inconvenience. Oh, oh, I know, I know, I know. I think I know. Yes, yes, I think I know. These two jumps here are not necessary. So I say if you reach the wall on the left side, you want to start walking again to the right. And this is basically an else branch. If there isn't a wall yet, you keep walking left. What we might do is negate this. So if on the left side there isn't a wall, then you keep walking. This jump is not necessary because this jump is now in the else branch, which means start walking right. Now this has to work finally. At least I know I've made one last mistake in this code, which was I miscounted the number of commands. Beautiful. <laughs> Who knew maths would be so important in coding? Not me. Yeah, 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 works. Okay, let me see that. 10 commands. Both optional challenges completed. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Look at those two green lights. Oh, yes, and that's achievement. Green path fully optimized. I wouldn't technically call it optimized, but this level has been haunting me for quite some time. And I don't think I have enough strength to complete this few. Why did I click that? Let me out of there. Not enough strength to complete all of these and not nearly enough strength to continue with these. So I'm gonna leave it here. But I gotta say, I'm not looking forward to all of this. That's gonna be insane. <laughs>